from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Morialli and Hitch. All right, welcome everybody to the Morialli and Hitch podcast here in the Thai Cat Audio Network. Rob's already nine minutes late, ten minutes late because he doesn't know how to read a calendar. Oh, I got the chicken. I got the... <laughs> You owe me chicken. I owe you chicken. And that's for those who don't know what chicken is, that's lunch, that's money, it. whatever it takes. It's something. Whatever it is to, to pay for but I just not being on time. I just found some stuff. Money. Yeah, some money. Did, what you you see any of those? Did you see any of those in Vegas? Oh, I saw them going out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where do you, you got cash for? What's going on? Uh, my mom paid the rent. Ah. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. Oh, There's a couple browns in there. I give it back to her. but I, I yeah. don't take care of your moms. Yeah. She I, gives it to me every month, and then I just and give it you give it back. back. Yeah. That's how you take care of moms. So you oh, make yeah, her yeah. feel good. She yeah, wants she wants to feel good. that she's... Because yeah. she does live in my house, my other house that I own, and my aunt lives in the basement. So I take money. Be? I take double from my aunt. <laughs> I uh, hope you're not listening, any Terry. It's okay. <laughs> Only six fifty is a good deal. Six fifty. So bye week this week, eh? Yeah, bye week. Bye yeah. week this week. They need it. They need it. And then, man, what a massive game coming up. There are a couple of reasons. One, Danny Mac. Well, and we'll talk about that. But two, they're playing Sask, and Sask is is the fourth place team in in the West right now, looking to yeah. be the third place team in the in the East with the crossover, right? They they have I think Winnipeg tonight or uh, yeah, I think they play Winnipeg tonight. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I don't know Bucko, I can they check got it out right now, but they, yeah, yeah, he's right. You're right. Yeah, they, they do got a have tough schedule uh, too. Oh yeah. So if Winnipeg takes care of them, yeah. you know, but I, again, here we go. We're talking about, you know, other teams losing I, and to try to get the Cats in. Just win the next four games and you might have a chance. I have that? a chance. That's it. That's how yeah. it goes. So speaking of games, October 7th the game. We're honoring Danny Max going up yeah. on the wall to join you. I hear it's on the other side, opposite you. Yeah, like he I, was in the change room. That's it. Offense and defense, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and then the big thing is, at least the, I, I'm looking forward to the game, no doubt. And I want to see Danny in the honor of, of Danny, but I'm looking forward to the night before, um, which is October 6th at Carmen's for his dinner. Yes. That'll we be need- that, we've got to promote that. We need to promote Ticats.ca, uh for those who 18, 20, maybe we've got 30 listeners now. If you don't have tickets, come on and and, and this thing should be sold out. I think the 72 Grey Cup team, there's uh, Also maybe, being honored, yeah. Yeah, they're being honored as well. I think there's about 15 guys from that team that are, are so far coming um, from what I've seen on a list. But um, you know what? Danny Mack did so much, for, oh. not only for the team, but for the community of the Children's Hospital and... Um, you know, just him, just his presence is, uh, and, and, and for the, the honor that he's getting, I mean, I went through it a couple of years ago. I can't believe it's three years ago already. Um, but you know, I, I, I was talking about it the other day with somebody and I said, you know, it really didn't sink in when, um, when Bob Young called me and like, I think he called me in April or May of that year and said, you know, you're going on the wall and you're a 24th guy. And I'm like, eh, I didn't really get it. It really took a couple of days to sink in and, and to realize that, um, you know, you're up there with the best of the best, the greats that have played this game. And it, and I still, you know, I still kind of, I'm humble, but I just, it, it doesn't feel like I'm up there with those guys because, you know, we you're watch up. them for throughout. Our, well, yeah, we, <laughs> we are. But it's just one of those things that it, you don't, we don't think of it. And you'd be the same way. Like, you're the same type of guy. Like, yeah, you've, You've done you've done some good things, some great things, and and a lot of accolades in your career. But you know what? When you get the opportunity to 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 get up there, and whether it be that or the Hall of Fame or whatever it is, it's just uh, it's a kind of a neat feeling. So I'm, oh, I'm yeah. so proud that he's up there. So proud that he's going up. Uh, absolutely. And you're right, though. I mean, the guy was the best teammate in the locker room, the best teammate on the field, the best teammate off the field. Honestly, yeah. he, he was. That he was. Yeah. Uh, and, you know. It, with him the guy you know he had to rely on me and he had to you know uh, i had to make sure that i protected him and all that stuff but he he was always the one that yeah. took all the heat and all could the heat. he ever drink beer oh <laughs> know, he doesn't want to talk he's very no. danny is why probably the the kathy uh, knows kathy knows he drinks beer oh no we're not talking about the beer everybody oh. knows danny drinks <laughs> We're not going to hide that fact. That's pretty evident, actually. There's no reason to hide. Um, yeah. But I think Danny is, is the guy that wants the least amount of attention. 
Oh, he, yeah, I think he's made that clear to some higher ups. At the, oh, I think so too. With, with this, well, he doesn't have a cho- If I had a choice, how about mine? Oh my. Let, this isn't about me, by the way, but <laughs> f- three years ago, for those who don't know this, and a lot of you probably don't, I got crushed at oh, mine. It was no, so- no, no, no. It's not even, it's an understatement what I got. I had five, six guys speak at mine. And Whitey was the MC, oh. and Whitey used to be the owner of Filthy McNasty's along with, with Mike. And He's been on the show. First yeah, he, Whitey's been on the show, and this test. guy crucified me. Then Philbrick went up and said every F-bomb, and my wife sitting back there, Michelle sitting back there listening to this, and these guys were just oh, I loved it. hammering. I well, it was, it was yeah. wonderful, but it's a little squirmy sometimes because you don't know what guys yeah, are going right? to say, and it's like... <laughs> Be nice, you know. <laughs> even I think he even told Bob Young something. I think Whitey told Bob Young something oh, yeah. back there. You give it to him too. Uh, Bob Young gave everybody. Yeah, the give it out of here. <laughs> but I think what I'm looking forward to even more is is Andrew Grigg making the speech. How many beers is he going to have before oh, he talks? Hopefully, it's a lot. <laughs> he's going to talk dinosaur. A good, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I want a good speech. Yeah, he's going to get a good. One. good Andrew's going to be good. Andrew, you know, him and Andrew are good. They're they're close buddies, and, and I know Andrew's got a lot of good things. He's he's going to be bitter still, but he's going to be good. He's going right? to be good. Yeah, I love. It. I can't wait. It'll be and that's the whole thing. We we get to see some guys. You know, you and I will be able to be there. Uh, Grigger's obviously going to be there. Hopefully, guys like Keith Shaw and and Donnelly and Sandy Beveridge and and some other local guy. Oh, Darren Flutie. Yes, Flutes is going to be there. Yeah. So this is like a two for one special because yeah. this has got to be. The very first time that Darren has come back to Hamilton well, since maybe a couple of years after he retired. Cause he, yeah. he, I don't think he's been back. Yeah, but you know what? I think he's coming, but he has told us the last 15 years that he's coming to see I know. And never shows up. Something happened at the border. I didn't have my wallet. Didn't have my ID. Couldn't get over the border. I got to go back. Meanwhile, he never left his living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I have faith. I yeah, have. I do too. I think he's changed. Darren, I think Darren has seen the light, and he wants to. He wants to enjoy, especially. So yeah, and let's you know, again, the history of Danny and Darren that goes back to BC days when I got drafted. I got drafted to BC in 1994. I went up there, and the quarterbacks at that time were Kent Austin and Danny Mack. Yeah. And, and Danny was the guy that when I was in rookie camp, he was the guy that threw the ball all the time. Like he was the, the quarterback that ended up. He was behind Kent to start the season. Then he ended up taking over from Kent and led him all the way to the Grey Cup, and they won. And they beat Baltimore. I think that was the year they beat Baltimore. It's 1994. So I missed out on that Grey Cup, too, because I got cut. Uh, every, you know how many times I've missed out on Grey Cups? Lots. Three. I missed three. I just missed out on But I had way more fun in Hamilton. So that's I could have got I could have got a few more Grey Cups, too, if I would have left. And instead of making thirty seven grand, I could have went to another team. But I never did. You uh, wouldn't have had that. Hey, one. what's your contract? You're going to take it, right? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Just played. <laughs> Just played for whatever it was. I didn't even care. I didn't even negotiate. Didn't even negotiate. Money was, an, like, money was literally an afterthought. Yeah. Money was not a, yeah. important to us. If I it was think, important to us, we wouldn't have played football. Yeah, I think. But just being – it has changed. The days of uh, – the days of you staying for, you know, an extra yeah. ten grand, like come on, whatever. You know what I think talking about contracts, let's get off topic here. How about Aaron Judge? Oh Aaron Judge from the Yankees turned down a seven year two hundred and five million dollar deal at the beginning of the year. Now he's hit sixty one home runs. He's gonna he's gonna pass, have a three hundred million dollar pass it. He'll at yep. least three hundred for sure. And he don't want he doesn't even want New York in my opinion. He wants to go back San Francisco, he wants to be in San Diego in that area. Yeah. He's gonna play baseball out there. What a beast. I love to play baseball. What a beast. Like, he stands in that batter's box. He takes the whole, ba- the whole box. Is he seven? How tall? I think he's six, yeah, seven. Yeah. yeah. So I'll tell you, I don't know how tall. I You know, when we used to play at, at Sky Dome when I was with the Argo for the first couple of years, and the Jays would, would always be there when we were coming off practice or getting ready for, for whatever. But have you ever been beside Roger Clemens? Big guy. Oh, my God. Like yeah. I'm, t- that, I don't know. What, I'll Google whatever, however tall he is. But the guy was a Butko, Butko, see how tall Roger Google's, Clemens is. Do your job. Uh, come on. Yeah, he's a big guy. Come on. Who's gonna do it first, Butko? Yeah. I think I'm gonna win because 
That's fine. Bucko's not. He's having a pretty. Oh, uh, it's in meters. How tall is he? It's in meters. Six, Six four. four. That's it. Okay. Uh, you know what? We were in high school. We were in high school. We were only five nine at that time. <laughs> well, he's one hundred and seven kilos. So that's Ooh. times two point two fourteen. Well, not bad, but you're weight now. The boat. Get out of here. <laughs> two ten, buddy. Two ten. I just Are have you? no muscle. I got no muscle. No. <laughs> I'd be no. heavier if I had muscle. I'm a little more than two ten. No. Yes. What happened? Two eighteen. Just like I was in training camp. <laughs> creatine. Are you back on creatine? Oh, I can't even lift my shoulders up. <laughs> I, no, I got a little tire going. I got a little tire going. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, so, you, do. you know my okay, me too. you've always had the sides. Yeah. You've always had the sides. Right. Everything goes I've got the sides now. Yeah, see? Yeah, I don't like Michelle's like, you can hang stuff from those. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You don't look like you don't look like you used to. No, you look I like don't. now, just straight I, down. That's right. Shoulders, waist is as wide as the shoulders. Well, talking about well, talking well, about well, guys, how about guys that we played with that were big? So offensive linemen, I remember I played against. I think it was ninety six or ninety five, and the two biggest linemen that were played for Winnipeg were Miles Gorell oh, and Chris Walby. Massive. Those guys were six like eight, angled six man. nine, three fifty. Yep. I got a I got a sequence of pictures of me intercepting from I don't even know who it was, and it's a, probably done again. Yeah, it was a sec. It was a, a sequence of three different pictures: me catching it, and then you know seven, eight more steps. Another picture of me running, and then another one up. And you can see the Walby and Miles were on an angle because I caught it like forty yards downfield, and I was running up the sideline. And these two <laughs> animals were running towards our sideline. As soon as I looked. I ran as far as I could, and as soon as they got to about a yard from me, doop, right out of bounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, could you couldn't. imagine? Oh, 800 pounds. Would put, it would have put me in the dugout. Yeah, well, they run that far. They want to murder you yeah. by the time they get you. Yeah. I should have cut. I was going to cut in front, like just cut them off and let them run right into Sudsy or whatever. That, that's what they couldn't stop. They couldn't <laughs> stop. There's no way they could stop. Oh, well, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. People, no. people forget the dugout. No, the new generation doesn't even know about the dugout. No, the dugout. No. The dugout at at Iverwin was four yards from the sidelines yeah. and straight cement down. It was like falling into a bunker beneath the stands. It was horrible. Yep. And how many guys get skidded out of bounds? Skidded right down the stairs, right into the benches up below, into the oh. into the urine from Gonzalo Floyd from yeah. the I uh, remember what I did to Reggie Slack. Oh my God! I hit Reggie Slack, who was a beast quarterback, hey, hey, two hey, two twenty, hey. and he thought he'd put his head down, and I had about a twenty yard run at him. It was right in front of the bench of Winnipeg. This is why you wonder, first of all, why you have bad shoulders. Yeah, and Coulter was Coulter was playing for them at the time, Carl. Yeah, and I went up, and I was flying, and I had a line on him, and he decided, oh, you know, I'm going to take this kid on. So he he turned up the sideline, and I hit him, and I. Blew him so far. He hit Cal Murphy. That Cal doesn't Murphy sound was, good. No, he hit Cal <laughs> Murphy right by the dugout because he was yelling. Oh, you at took his, Cal out. I took Cal out and yes. broke broke his arm. They yes, had to cart him off, and they broke his arm. And Carl was gonna, I'm gonna kill you. He was yelling at me because I was I think it was 95. It was Anyways, before I, we played with Carl. Yeah, it was yes. before we played him. So it was 95 or 96. But oh my gosh, uh, it, it was good. You had a few good. of those. You, my favorite one of, of you was uh you running into Pringle like two yeah like one of those horns. buck horns. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. I had a lot of those. So I feel them now. <laughs> okay, so let's let's switch gears to Danny. I don't want to give all our good stuff away in case somebody wants us to speak. Yeah, that true. Day. Danny does not want us to speak. No. I know that. So this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. But Danny um if I line up every single quarterback that I played with and I've been incredibly fortunate to play with four, you know, potentially five Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Danny for me was the best quarterback. I've said it on the show before. He yeah. was the best all round quarterback for me. He, not not just because he's our friend. And I know no, that no, no, sincerely. No. I know no, you know I, yeah. I am dead listen, I I played with Doug Flutie. I played with Damon Allen. I played with like the major quarterbacks, Anthony Calvillo. So I know I'm, I'm comparing them that all these guys are brilliant, but they're all brilliant in their own way. Danny was brilliant in his own way. It, he just happened to be, in my opinion, good at everything. He was a really good leader. Like I talked, he was a really good football player. And he he's he was a lot of fun. Like he was he was fun to be around. He made our team better. That's why I look at it. 
Not that those yeah. guys weren't, but no. Danny had the knack. He was very level-headed. He could throw five interceptions and come back and throw five touchdowns and, yeah. and take all the blame for what he did wrong and pass on all the praise for what he did right. And uh, you don't get that a lot, man. Well, what was the what was the year we won the Grey Cup? Thirty two interceptions and forty one touchdowns, or yeah. something stupid. Like I don't even know the matter. record, but it was thirty two picks. Who cares? Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Like he just he he, he was the man. And yeah. the best part about that is when he threw a pick, he'd walk off like Ozzy, <laughs> like Ozzy when he kicks the ball the and just walks off the field after a kickoff. Or when he throws a touchdown, he walks off the field yep. the same the same, same way. way. So it wasn't like he celebrated one and didn't do it. He just business. And then you didn't talk to him. Go no. to the sideline, stay away. Yeah, I made don't, him, I made don't him say a word. He would never say anything to you. Just don't go yeah, there. But I just knew when I did go over that he did not want anything to do with me because no. he doesn't want to hear about me saying, hey, I was open. Because every receiver's open. How about this with four games to go? Winnipeg, BC, and Calgary have all clinched. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey? I <laughs> Toronto's know. clinched. But So what, um, how many points does Sask has? What, 12 points? Yeah, they've got twelve. We got eight. So, yeah, it's. I mean, they lose tonight, then we don't play. Hamilton's got to win. Well, they have to. Yeah, they, 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 win. My God, they have to. If they even win two more games, it's over. And Hamilton wins oh. out. No, if it's a tie, uh, it'll be eight, ten, twelve, forty. Yeah, it'll be sixteen points. Right, four more games. Right. So they'll have sixteen, and Saskatchewan's got twelve. So yeah. So if, if, Toronto. If, if sorry, if Saskatchewan wins two. And we went out. We still go through because I think the tiebreaker still goes to the yeah. east. Did they? They don't the go back. Tie, don't, yes, yes, you're right. The tie, the tie is the east automatically. Is the east? Yeah. So it's not head to head. It's nothing. It's it's just the tie. Got to win. Got to win four. Yeah. If you're listening, boys, you got to win four. Oh, you think they're listening? I'm not too sure. No, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, how about the? Uh, um, what's that thing they stole from us? The huddles and heels. Oh yeah. Is that, that going up now? I think it was yesterday or t- I think it's tonight. Or yeah, yeah, I think it was yesterday or tonight. The, women's something. football has been rebranded smartly into yeah. like uh, I don't know the exact. Uh, I, I got word, an email from it. Women, women in touchdowns football. and tails or tails and touchdowns. No, oh, that was the old tails one. one. That was the that. No, oh, Bucko, what's that thing that the cats are doing now? It's a uh, tail tails it's, and something. No, oh, it's you know women's what? in football. That was the old one. No, I'm telling you, it's tails and something. I got the email the other day and I, I was laughing again. I said, they still kept us out. Didn't even acknowledge that we did it for five years. Nothing. If you're listening, <laughs> Bob, Mr. Young, they took something from us and never even, didn't even ask. It's oh, all right. It's all I'm, the it's journey. All I'm the journeyman. Yeah, you are the journeyman. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to find it here. But. Okay, so um, you're going alone on uh, on Danny's night on Thursday. I, I'm going to bring my wife. No, I, I think. think I'm bringing somebody because oh, I, really? I, I asked well. Ed. I texted Ed, yeah. emailed Ed, and I said I just paid 125 bucks for a seat, and it's I heard it's two for one. Oh, well, if you're all paid up, I say yeah, I am paid up. It's all good. So 125. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring somebody. I don't know who. Yeah, my yeah. wife's not coming, but I'm going to bring somebody. Maybe I'll bring my brother. Online in that I'll link. bring your brother. Bring my brother. You should. He'll steal everything. Everything. Food, everything. everything. Yeah, he'll be up on stage. Yeah. He'll be in the wall of shame. Touchdowns and Tastings 2.0. Presented by Peller Estates Family Reserve. What do we get sponsored tasting. by? Bench. They should ship us at least a case. Oh, they better. Like a, I don't even drink wine. No. But... I, you know what? I, I, I hope they have four, seven people there. No, you don't. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, but great. I would like some wine. I think just in honor. Yeah, in of, honor. Of, of like, you know, paving the way. Yeah. That wasn't I mean, easy at times, Rob. No. We, it, like, that we, was were, not, we were scrounging that week when we had the same ladies come every single year. And you know what? They, they, paid, they paid the 100 bucks, 125 bucks. We still had a packed house every time. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. fun, but we had. To, I think they had to change the scenery a little bit because, or they could have just asked us to change the scenery, and, and we could have got a nice sponsor. <laughs> but that's okay. We do enough for the cats now. And let the uh, let the young guys do it now. Let the young guys do it. That's so what, what. What this little pack includes is a, uh, let's see, four tickets to the October seventh game. That's smart. Good. Or the October twenty first. Your when choice. is the night? When's it on? Uh, buy tickets now. It was last uh, night. Oh, last no. night. There we go. Oh, it was last night. So you know what? Oh, congratulations. I, ho- I, hope, I, hope they, I hope they had a full house. 
And they were asking for us. Guaranteed there were some asking for us. <laughs> hey, the ones that sit at the front that ask the same questions all the time. You were trying it. to sell tickets to something that happened last night. No, I'm not selling tickets. I'm selling tickets to the game. I hope they all oh, go to the okay. game. I thought you were talking about selling tickets to the, the Tiger. No, game. four tickets to the Tiger game October 7th. That's what they get. So if they Yeah, went but last they already night, got it. They yeah, got well, it. They, then they got the tickets now. They better go. Don't sell them. Yeah, support, you need to support DMAC. You got to go. You got to go. Support the Tiger, support DMAC. You got to win some games. Should be a good night. This is, this is, this is football time. Yeah. It's past labor. This is football time. The weather, to me, is perfect. Yeah. I love playing. I'd rather play in this. I mean, as long as it's not windy. But I was a little soft when it came to cold. I didn't like it. No, when I was doing the, uh, you know, talking on the radio in between each quarter, I talked for about 47 seconds. And oh, on the field? On the field. You got about a 14-foot rope yeah. basically attached to you, and you can't go anywhere. You get run over by the TSN truck a couple times. They run over your feet. And then it's you're sitting there in the August, and it's 900 degrees, and you're yeah. dying. And then now, when it starts getting cold, you, you don't have enough. You can't. Guys are dropping beer on you. I said, oh, that's yeah. it. I'm not move. doing that again. You're I'm tethered. not doing it again. I can't do it You're again. You're tethered to the, no. to the wall. It's just a little thing in the wall you got to stick to it. Oh, yeah. Tasker and those guys and uh, up in the booth, nice and warm. They throw yeah. it out to you for about 16 seconds a game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. cut them off. I hear in my ear. Cut them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best. Cut them off. Tasker's good, eh? He's good. He's good. Yeah, I like him. He's very good. Yeah, he learned. Obviously, he picked up uh, from his dad, too, because his dad's awesome. Yeah. And I don't know if his dad's still doing games. In Buffalo? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I'm know. sure he's still involved doing, doing I've seen him on. I used to see him on ESPN. I think he was doing some stuff. On Maybe ESPN. some college football, too. He yeah, might. yeah. How about Flutie? Is Doug still doing the NCAA stuff in he the States? I haven't seen him for a long time. He hasn't cut he his hair to. in 14 years, either. So. No belt, eh? No, no belt. belt. White shoes, New Balance with no belt. what? No belt. You do know that he owns a Batmobile. Does he? I'm not joking. He owns oh, that's, a that... Batmobile. Oh, my God. Which, Did he buy it from the set from Batman? I don't know, but he loves that kind of thing. He was always the guy that uh, that knew all the corny jokes to all the movies. Like, that was that's that's that was Doug. Darren was, like, completely opposite. Do you remember uh, I was, I think, I don't know, we weren't rooming at the time, but I think it was in Winnipeg and we're staying there for a bit. And somebody came into the room and he had basically nothing on except a cape and some moutons. And he stood over me about two o'clock in the morning and he goes, I am Batman. I, I am do. Batman. I and do. he was naked and he was I right do. over top of me and then he ran out of the room. The worst. He worst. was very, he was a very big man. Very yeah. big man, and I was. It was like two in the morning. I was wondering what was over me, and I looked, and I, I don't know what that thing was. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. I will never say his name, but I don't know what came over him. Why would he put a bat on? He even had a mask, a Batman know. mask. He got it from the dollar store. He decided hey, to stand over us. It stand was over not me. good. No, he was having fun. You yeah, thought he was <laughs> running down the hallway. You go to bed. How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> that was the same trip. That was the same trip. Oh, I think we already told that story too. We you, did. We you told, told Greg it was it was our coach. It was our coach at the oh, time. Uh, no, no, you go to bed. <laughs> at that time, we were having fun. Hey, we, we won. Fun. I think we won that game. We won. And oh, if we didn't win, we had a good time. Yeah, that's for sure. We had a good time. Well, I'm but... heading to Arizona on Sunday. Oh, nice. Yeah, got a little uh, three days down there and work. Coming back Wednesday. Well, I'm leaving the red eye at midnight. Mm-hmm. I'm coming back Thursday morning. I get in at seven thirty. And then, uh, oh, then you're going to Danny's thing that night. I got to come home for a couple snooze an hour or so and a couple sleeps, and then I'll get over to D Max. They want us there four thirty. Not happening. Oh, I can't do it. I can't. I'm coming from that golf tournament, so I can't do it. But I'll be there. Okay, I'll so, start it off. You fix you. Uh, you do Where you are you playing? Angus Glen. Oh, we've had that before. It's a nice track. Nice track. Yeah. Same tournament. The Scarborough shooting. Oh, stuff. is it? Oh, thanks and for invite. Thanks for the invite. I did, dude. I can't even be there the whole day. I gotta. <laughs> I got to get back. I told him, I, obviously, I would love to go and spend the whole day, but I got to get back for Danny. Got to be there. Gregor I'm played with us. Gregor played too. It was me, you, Gregor, and uh, who was the last guy that joined? 77 Pints. Yeah. Who was, <laughs> yeah. Who was the last guy? Uh, Marius? What person. No, what? not Ray. No, it was one of the guys, I think, one of your basketball guys, I think, wasn't it? Oh, maybe. I don't even remember. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Not important. How many minutes now? 24, eh? Yeah, we're gonna cut it off at thirty today because we got. We're, it's a Friday. 
Yeah, we got extra work coming up on August or October sixth, apparently. Yes, extra. Chadoa work. wants us to put some extra work in, so yeah, so we you know, have it's to. only so many hours that we clock in and out, eh? Yeah, I agree. But uh, you've been following a bit of the Jays. Well, I f- saw that they clinched. Yeah. So that's yeah, good. I've been watching. I've been, honestly have been watching the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's exciting come this time of year. This is, is what I like. It. My buddy went online yesterday or Wednesday when the tickets went on sale, just in case they were like they don't even they're not even guaranteed a home game, right? Because yeah, they've yeah, got yeah. a win out. If they win two or three out of the or three and three, they go. I think they're going to be in up first. But my buddy bought four tickets. He had to buy two and two completely separate, and they were only they were like three hundred bucks, one hundred fifty each. Which isn't either. bad, and, and not up in the 500s either. Like good good seats at that time. So I, I imagine those seats, once they get in, they're those, those oh, 150 are going to be 300 each. Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Because this play, it's, them. I know. I never think of stuff like that. Neither do I. I got no time for that, but I should have. <laughs> no time. Like you have minutes. no time to buy the ticket, or you have no time to go to the game. No, no time to go online and wait and wait and on the phone and not a, no desire to do that. What is I was this? walking my dogs today. That's why I came nine minutes late. I thought it was three thirty today, but I guess I well, made a uh, What do you think Buck goes up to today? You know, this is Bucko's job. But why don't you tell everybody what you've been doing? You've been compiling some little. Um, uh, you've already done yours, right, Hitch? Like your little shout outs to Danny. Little congrats. Yeah. How many? How many have you done in total, Bucko? Ah, uh, about. Six or seven, one, two, three. Nice. Yeah, seven. Any good uh, ones? <laughs> well, yours was the best. My first one was good. My second one was toned down. My first one I liked better, but I felt in hindsight maybe did you have I to do another one. I shouldn't be so mean to Danny. Did you do another one? I did. Well, I did one today. So what happened was the first time I did it. What? How come? How come it didn't work the first time? Yesterday or two days ago? I think you said Hall of Fame instead of Wall, oh. uh, Hall of Honor or Wall of Honor. I said Wall of Fame. I did too, and then I switched it to the Wall, wall of Fame. Of, yeah, yeah. Let's you know what Wall of Fame is the is the, is the cat's that? claws. That's the Walk of Fame. Oh, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not quite the same thing. Oh, what wow. is the Walk of Fame? It's the Fame. What? Yes. The, the fame. I, I'm happy to be in the Walk of Fame. I'm not in the Wall of Fame. You're in both. That's the difference. That is the um, difference. But the the Wall of Fame. Actually, it's not even the Wall of Fame. It's the Wall of Honor, and yes. that's why I had to redo my thing. Yeah. How many people make that mistake, David? Uh, I think I kind of, after you did it, I kept telling people, don't say Hall of Fame. And then they got in their head, and all they said was Hall of Fame. But I said Wall of Fame. I You're don't know what it is. I don't need to. Oh. You're a burger. That's the problem. This is the guy that's leading us into the next generation. Yeah. yeah. I did say, I did say a couple things like, you know, leader, Hall of Famer, Great Cup yeah. champion. And well, then, is. now, now, welcome. You know, it's one of those. I don't yeah. want to give what you I can welcome away, them directly. You can yeah. give them like that uh, the green jacket. You guys yeah. should get jackets. I yeah. agree. Right. We got the nice rings. Get a nice. We got a nice ring. Show the ring. You have it near you. Yeah. Let me see if this stuff's gonna. I come don't think I've ears. seen the ring. Really? You oh. probably are wearing it. You're wearing it. In, where is it? Where in your in your pocket? Just just so happen to have it right here beside me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. And this is even planned, folks. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hold it up to your camera. I will. Okay, so this comes from the the. Who's this come from? The alumni. The alumni. That's the. So alumni. it's it's got uh, it's got the name. Yeah. If you see it, and then on the other side, it's got. I don't know if you can see that or not, but Wall of Honor, right? Uh, what does it Hamilton, say on top? It says Hamilton, and then it says Wall of Honor. Yes, Wall of Honor. Yeah, That's right what there. I said. Yeah. That's nice. I didn't see that. Okay. What's it fit like? Is it like the size of our Grey Cup ring or, or smaller? Look Hold at on. Hands. That's the bad finger. See? Watch. Oh, yeah. Twisted. Uh, it fits like a Grey Cup. Yeah. Fits on the Grey Cup. But it's the same size as our. Same size. Yeah. Same yeah. size. But, you know, it comes in thing. I don't think I've ever worn it in a couple of years, but there it is. See? So it's good. Very nice. The big one's the name. The name inside the stadium. That's it right there. That's it. That's, that's what it is. And you know what? The next guy's name to be on. Is going to end the McManus, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. I think with that, we should just wrap her up. From yeah, uh, David Butko, the executive producer of this fine show, uh, Rob Hitchcock, who's nine minutes late, and myself, Mike Morielli. This is the Morielli and Hitch podcast. Get your tickets to the game. Get yeah. your tickets to see Danny Mac's uh, Wall of Honor dinner. And uh, have a great weekend. We'll talk yeah, to you soon.
Peace out, guys. Thanks, man. Bye. That's another episode of Mori Alley and Hitch on the Tie Cats Audio Network. Have a question or a comment for them? Email us at mnh at tiecats.ca. That's M A N D H at tiecats.ca.